Hey guys, Cute Fuzzy Weasel here, and I'm just trying to keep productive while everything gets basically reset around here. That's why I'm not down in the studio. Anyway, I thought I'd do this video because why not? So as some of you might know, I have satellite internet, which means when I go to watch a YouTube video, I have to be really, really particular at what I actually watch. I can't just go around looking at random shit, unless it's between the hours of 2 a.m. and 8 a.m., and then I have unlimited internet access. Because of this, there are a few things that I see in YouTube videos that really piss me off because they basically waste my bandwidth. Whether it's by unintentionally ratcheting down the video quality or needlessly fucking boring. These are five things that I see in YouTube videos that piss me off. Number five, videos that are just text walls. You have a wall of text and then two seconds later, another wall of text and then two seconds later, another wall of text overlaid with some shitty fucking pop music. Fuck you, go get a microphone. If I want to fucking read, I'll load up a regular web page. Don't waste my fucking bandwidth on a video that's a text file. Number four, intros that go on way too fucking long. This is another thing I'm seeing a lot more of, especially on smaller channels. Videos that have these really long, generic, drag-and-drop intros that go on for 30 fucking seconds. Like it's some kind of strobing techno music that goes around and the, and the words form on dominoes and they fall and it takes fucking forever for them to fall. And then when they finally spell out the goddamn word, there's a snow effect that's gotta come down? If your intro goes on for longer than 10 seconds, I'm looking for the goddamn door. I'd be willing to bet money that if you went on to most of these videos' analytics, audience retention probably drops off around second six. Just put your name and some music and that's it. It only needs to go on for three fucking seconds. And then of course after they're fucking needlessly flashy 35 second intro they go on for a minute and a half about shit that's not related to fucking anything and that rolls into number fucking three people who smack their goddamn lips you know what i'm talking about people who go like okay so today like uh today we're gonna talk about gg2714 uh his uh video on the you know uh truby Number one, two, seven, and uh, 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 you know, uh, I gotta say, uh, now I can't really do the recording of that justice without moving my pop filter, and I don't want to spit in my goddamn microphone because it was expensive, but fuck you. Number four, dead space. Going back to the topic of voiceovers, anytime I see a video where someone leaves just an inordinate amount of time between words. When it's fucking clear they have movie editor or something they can use to cut that down. So I was riding my bike. And you know, Shit's getting colder. What are you leaving space for? A fucking laugh track? Don't waste my goddamn bandwidth on dead air! But just because a video's production is high doesn't mean it doesn't piss me off. Cause number five is critics who take themselves way too goddamn seriously. I like Ralph Movie Maker, I like YMS, and I like, uh, uh, what's the other guy? The guy who's I hate everything. I like I hate everything. But man! Nostalgia Critic has almost lost me a few times. Why? Because inevitably, inevitably on his videos, he'll sit down and he'll just start talking to you like you're a five-year-old who just did something mildly naughty and needs to have it carefully explained to you how important it is that you never do that again. Listen, I'm talking from the heart because my voice has gotten low and I'm wasting your time. Making movies is something that's hard. I will acknowledge that. And I need to talk to my audience like they don't fucking know that concept. When it's clear that they do. You see, when you talk with this tone of voice towards your general audience and not say someone you're doing a response to, it kinda sounds like you think we're all children and you are our teacher. Well, fuck you, you're not my goddamn teacher. It's like, you know, you review shit. 
That doesn't make you a fucking professor. It makes you an internet reviewer. And while we're on the topic of any of this, if I ever get seriously into reviews, and I really want to, but if I ever seriously get into reviews, and I ever pull this shit where I sit down and talk about, you know, we're all, you know, movies and being really condescending, talking down to you guys because as an internet critic, I know what I'm talking about. If I ever do that, fucking call me out on it. For fucks, and link this video in your comment, because fucking past me and me will have a conversation. I backed my mind up on that thing. Now, this isn't to say that you can't have that tone in, like, vlogs or unrelated shit, but if you're talking about the fucking Christmas tree or some other shitty cartoon, don't fucking do that. Anyway, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. If you have any things you want me to rant about or make top five lists about post them in the comments below and as always have a good day